Okay, this is Mark, and um, we have Jupiter in Aries now, and Jupiter in Aries signifies the individual. I mean, it's very individualistic, but it's not as strong as a Saturn in Aquarius. Saturn will be in Aquarius, and Jupiter will be in Aquarius until 2020, or Jupiter will be in Aries until 2023. And um, with Saturn and Aquarius, it's kind of a group mentality. What's good for everybody else or what I want as a member of the ruled. And Aries is about the individual. Jupiter does well in Aries because Aries uh, comports well with Sagittarius. And Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So... There is this conflict between the individual and the group. And the group will win because uh, Aquarius is, um, uh, or Saturn in Aquarius is stronger than Jupiter in Aries. Because Saturn rules Aquarius, Jupiter does not rule Aries. There should be more violence, as we've seen more violence, at least in the United States. I can't speak for Australia and England and, and Scotland and, and New Zealand. And, but we've seen violence, especially school shootings. Uh, Aries has to do with violence. And Jupiter means a lot of violence or a lot, a lot of individualism, a lot of violence, a, a lot of Jupiter and Aries would be philosophy around things like yoga and Tai Chi. Um, things are traditional, whereas Aqu Saturn and Aquarius is the future. And it's an interesting, interesting uh, time because we're seeing people with the mentality, you know, I am, I am this individual, you know, I matter as an individual. If, 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 um, if I'm not respected as an individual, then how can we respect society? If I'm not regarded as, as an important, important individual, then how can we respect the individuals in society? Whereas Aquarius is saying, we have a group at idea here. We're trying to move forward with um, the future and with um, uh, things that are best for everyone or supposedly best for everyone that's that's the in the in the, in the best aquarius is is what's best for the ruled so um and it's also also thought about thinking about well the poor um aquarius has to do with the poor and with those who are oppressed and so there's an attitude with with saturn and aquarius about well, what do we do about the people that are oppressed what about the single mothers? What about abortion? But as, as we have this conflict in the United States, we're, we're supposedly going to um, overturn Roe versus Wade and return abortion back to the states. So some states will have abortion, some states won't. But um, it's not a, a getting rid of abortion, but this whole thing right now with Jupiter and, or with Saturn and Aquarius and Jupiter and Aries, you know, you're talking about Jupiter and Aries that has to do with birth and with the baby and with Saturn and Aquarius that has to do with, um, you know, the rights of poor people, the rights of poor people. You know, I'm poor and but I'm, a, I'm, I'm poor, but I'm a conservative. And so um, you got people saying, well, what about the poor? You know, um, what about um the, um, the 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 single mother, you know, who can't afford to have a child, and then and then, uh, and then Jupiter and Aries it, it has the attitude. Well, what about you know the child? This child is about to be born, and you're about to rip it to shreds. And somebody says, well, what about the, what about the, the pregnant mother? What about someone who was raped? Uh, how can you how can you deny their their rights or what they what they call their rights? And then. The other side would say that the rights are, are to the individual, that the individual has rights from birth. And um, this kind of came about when Jupiter, this conflict with the Supreme Court came about with when Jupiter entered Aries. And with Jupiter and Aries, there should be more violence, probably more violence, probably a lot of violence around the Roe versus Wade decision and overturning the Roe versus Wade decision that the Supreme Court is rumored to do. Uh, 
So that's what's going on. Um, uh, that's basically Jupiter and Aries. And it should be there till May 2023. 20, I think Saturn leaves Aquarius in um, um, September or October, something like that, or November of 2023. Saturn will be in Aquarius. So it'll be this conflict going on between the individual and the group. Um, I have my personal feelings about this. I have my personal attitudes about this. Uh, to, to maybe sum it up, I would say, if you don't respect the rights of the individual, you're not going to respect the rights of the group. But we are not... Uh, just individuals. We all have um, we have needs. There are, there are the poor that should be taken care of according to the Bible, according to my belief. The poor should be treated well. Um, pregnant mothers should be treated well. Single single mothers should be treated well, or pregnant 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 women should be treated well, and single mothers should be treated well. And um, Jesus always talked about the poor and um, what we need to do to help the poor. All right, that's my analysis of Jupiter and Aries with Saturn in Aquarius. God bless.